Message from Spirit here with the Angelarium Oracle. What is it we as a collective, human collective, not just United States citizens, not just Canadians or Australians, what we as a collective, as a human collective, what should we be striving for? The four cards. Israfel. Garvura. Yasod and Tiferet, ushering in the beauty and protecting our spirits. Israfel is the angel of song. This is like the judgment card as well. This is trying to resurrect old feelings. Remember when? Nostalgia, good feelings, sweet memories. Gavura. The left hand, judgment. This is defending, defense, standing guard. Yasad, root, connection. This is the gateway to which all things pass, good or bad. Tiferet, this is beauty, sweetness, life, kindness, meekness. I say this in our political readings here on this channel. Some people hate it because they, they love to just live in their own in particular spots. But even Donald Trump, the spirit has not given up on Donald Trump either. Because it wouldn't. We think that he is horrible and then we are not because he doesn't do the same horrible things that we do. He doesn't do the same horrible things that we or say the same horrible things that we say. But remember, he is a reflection of society. This is what, you know, the spirit is wanting to show you. This is what you act like. Change yourself. You act like a greedy, horrible person sometimes. Change that about you. The spirit is saying here, resurrect those memories and stand guard for them. Because change is constant, like time. It goes without you. There will be a time when the ugly passes. Here with the Assad, it will go away. And in comes a moment of beauty, of meekness, of kindness, of community. But this gateway is constantly open, which means ugly will one day return. Which means you need to stand guard of those feelings of the past. Ugliness does not defeat you unless you give up. Because everything changes. It goes away one day. One day Trump will not be here. Whether he gets nine terms, one day he will not be here. He will not live forever. He will be gone at some point. And then you can usher in this beauty. But here's the thing that I'm preaching to you right now. Protect this. When you get it back, protect it. It's kind of like if you were to lose your wallet or your phone or something of that nature that's got all your business in it. It's, it's, it's a prime example there. Let me preach this to you too for those who do this, stop doing this. For people who put their purse in their shopping cart at the top and then turn their back on it, stop doing that. I've worked retail my whole life. That is not a good thing for you to do. Somebody will push your cart off or they will snatch something right out your purse while you got your back turned and you're looking at whatever it is you're looking at. And then once that happens to a person, the next thing you know, they either put it in the bottom of the cart or they constantly got it on their shoulder or they don't take it in the store at all. But you protect when you lose something like that. So here's your warning. Again, the sweet memories, the nostalgia, all that stuff that the angel of song is trying to bring you. 
Stand guard. Stand guard for that. The reason you stand guard for that is because you will need that. You will need to know the community is stronger than the ugly that has returned. That one day that ugly will usher in, yes, but it will also usher right back out. There's nothing you can do to stop it, but if you hold on to that meekness, to that kindness, to that community, you will understand this is not that bad. And one day, the ugly will change. The trouble will be over. And then we can get back to our song.